A primary gravidar effort for vaginal bleeding in the first trimester and uh, what we see here is there is a gestational sac seen. Now this is the gestational sac with viable fetal pole. This is the gestational sac, the chorion, double decidual reaction or trophoblastic reaction. This is the fetal pole. We do see cardiac flicker. positive waveform. Here you can see. Yeah, yeah. So, any of idea of waveform. To show you that it is viable and uh, intact gestational sac of seven weeks. This is a magnified view. Now to normal. Now this, there is a gestational sac which is, this is the gestational sac which is near the os. Here, you see. This one, cervix, os. This is gestational sac number one. And now there is another gestational sac. You see these are the twin pregnancy, early twin pregnancy. This is gestational sac number two. This one. Gestational sac number two, fetal pole and uh, residual reaction or trophoblastic reaction intact. Here if you if I magnify, you will see a uh, yolk sac. This is the yolk sac. My is 2.3. Above you see this is the yes, this is the uh, fetal pole. <coughs> you will see the cardiac activity is present. Cardiac flicker is easily visible. So fetal pole is seen. We have there are two gestational sacs, early pregnancy of seven weeks with uh, in, uh, in, uh, intact gestational sacs with the uh, fetal pole cardiac activity seen in both. Now, in between these two sacs we see an area of crescent shaped transferency transferences around the gestational sac number two in the uh, This is the gestational sac and this is the crescentic shape transferency. In between the two gestational sacs, if I can show you both together, okay then, okay part of the gestational sac number one, part of the gestational sac number two and in between this area is showing but it is multi septated. Multiple septations are seen. You see, these are all septas between this sac and between the other sac. This sac. This is the area. Now, this is in fact uh, bleed 
our fluid with echoes and with few tiny septas which is uh, hemorrhage you can say yes with between the chorion this is the chorion of the sac number one and uh, here is the chorion of the sac number two and this collection is within the uh, bounded uh, scene between the chorion as well and the it ex uh, extends to the uh, surface of the uterus, uh, uterine wall. This is the uterine wall. So this is the uterine wall. From here you see this all fluid collection with internal septas and uh, echoes. And this is between these two sacs. And uh, so between the chorion and between the uh, and between the uterine margin, this one anterior uterine wall. This is a subchorionic bleed, and this indicates this may be a bleed from the uh, part uh, area of the future development of the placenta in this region. Uh, now, this is this finding is consistent between uh, uh, sorry consistent with the subchorionic bleed in the twin pregnancy, early twin pregnancy of seven weeks. Now. Yeah. We have to see that what is the size of this bleed which will define the prognosis of this uh, particular patient. So let's see the sac, compare it with, let's see the sac and the size. This is the sac. And this is the bleed here. So it's almost the size of the gestational sac. You see, this is the slightly bigger than it's more than 50 percent, I think. Yes, if this, if I take this as a reference uh, value, then the bleed is about. Six, more than 60 percent that of the size of the gestational sac. No, this is the size of the gas. This is the size of the uh, this bleed. It is 37 mm into 31 mm, and the size of the sac is 22 into 25. So it's uh, more than 50 percent. So it will come in the category of uh, severe form or uh, of the uh, hemorrhage. More than 60 percent is considered to be uh, severe. So this is uh, this has a poor pregnant prognosis when it's more than 50 percent, uh, 60 percent, uh, 50 percent, or when it is 60 maximum 66 percent is the limit, upper limit, uh, but this is something around more than 50 percent or uh, you can say 50 to 60 percent is the bleed compared to the size of the gestational sac. Uh, so future depends. The prognosis keeping in view the present scenario is a little grim in this case under study. So this is our case of the day, which is that of a twin pregnancy with subchorionic bleed. Thank you very much.